At this point, we've done the basic implementation of our tip calculator app. The goal for this video is to add some color and some personalization in our app and really show off our design skills. Unfortunately, my design skills are pretty limited. And so what I'm going to end up building is something that looks like this. So definitely it's an improvement over the original app, but I'm sure you can do much better. So feel free to, to take the concepts I show you and change the app however you want. To start with, let's add this text view at the very bottom, which is like a footer. And a lot of websites apps have this where it says, you know, made with love in California or made with love by this person. We're going to add a text view at the very bottom of the screen, which contains this heart emoji. To do this, let's go back into activity main.xml and we're going to drag down a text view. So let's, I'll zoom in a bit just so it's easier to see. And we're going to add constraints to the left and right of the parent view, which is a constraint layout. And that will be what constrains the view horizontally. It'll be right in the middle. And then we're going to also constrain it below with a margin of 32. So this is going to be 32 pixels or 32 DP above the bottom of the screen. And we'll call this TV footer as ID. And the actual text, I'll, I'll make it say, made with love by Rahul. And of course you should personalize it however you want. Uh, a few other things that we can do, make the font size a bit bigger, 18 SP. And then let's also make the font family sans serif condensed light, which makes it a bit thinner. And one more thing we can do is if you look for all caps, and there's a setting here, which will do that for us. And finally, we want to change the text to actually have a, have a heart emoji instead of showing the text. Literally what I did is I just Googled for heart emoji and the very first result, which is from Emojipedia, you can copy that. And once it's on your clipboard, you can go back into Android Studio and then update it here. And it shows up weird in the preview, but in my experience, it actually shows up properly in the emulator. Let's try it. There, you can see it looks pretty similar to what our eventual app looks like. There are two more things I want to show you in order to get to this completed sample app. First, how do you update the color and themes? And second, what I'm really excited to show you is how do we implement this text view, which is a description of the tip percentage. And we're actually going to animate the color. So as you scrub up and down, um, the color of that text view is going to change. First, let's talk about how to update the color scheme for our app. Going back to the project, if you open up the project view, inside of a directory called manifest, there's a file called Android manifest. Every Android app has to have an Android manifest file, which describes important information about your app. Things like how many activities are in your app? What permissions does your app need? Things like internet or storage. And importantly for us, it also includes information around things like theming. And so there's a line here, Android theme, and it's referring to a style file. So this is style app theme. So if I go to the definition, you'll see that this is, a, this is something that came in with the starter project. So if I, if I tap on this button to see scroll from source, you can see there's already a directory called values in the resources directory called styles. And here's how Android is figuring out what color to show in the app that we have running currently, this dark green color and this pink color. That's coming from color primary and color accent. And these colors are actually defined in another file. So there's one more layer of introduction, which is why it can sometimes be a bit confusing. But if I go to the definition here, this is defined in the colors.xml file, which is also located in the values directory. If we want to update the color scheme of our app to look something similar to what we have here, we need to update these values. So I'll paste in the values that I had come up with in order to make the app look like this. But let me show you how I came up with those values in case you want to experiment with it on your own. And it can be pretty fun. So just go to color.adobe.com slash create. Now this is a tool that helps you pick a color palette. And the color palette is what you can use to educate the colors you pick for your primary accent and primary dark color. So for example, what we have here is different kinds of rules for how your color should relate to each other. You have analogous, monochromatic, triad, and you can see how the colors actually change. And once you find something you're relatively happy with, you can modify it however you like by using this color picker. So going back to our app, the colors that I came up with are this orange color for the primary. And actually I, I use the same orange for the accent. And you can kind of see a nice preview on the left-hand side. I'll leave the primary dark as is. And so let's run the app and see what that looks like. 
So now the orange colors match up, but you can tell there's a bit of a shading that happens in the background. So in order to do that, we actually want to update our theme. So I'm going to add one more line here. And the attribute that we want to update is Android color background. We want to have this refer to another color that we are going to define called color background. So I'll copy that and define it in this file, the color background. And the background color that I picked is this really light blue color that's off-white. And now you can see that it matches up exactly with what the screenshot shows. The last thing I'd like to show is how to implement this text view, which has a changing text and color for the description. Here's a GIF of how it works. So as the user picks a tip percentage, if it's a very good tip, the color will be green. And if it's a very bad tip, it'll go back to being red. And then in the middle, it'll be some color in between green and red. I like this feature because I feel like it gives the user some engaging feedback on the tip that they're about to give. It's a lot more interactive than what we have currently. So going into activity main, the first thing we'll do is actually add that text view. So in order to do that, first, let's create a bit more distance, a bit more space in between the tip label and the percent label. I'll make it 48 DP, 48 pixels. And then we'll drag in a text view right below the seek bar. And we'll call this TV tip description. And the text initially um, will be empty. We don't know what the value should be, but we're again, we're gonna utilize the tools namespace so we can at least see what it might look like in the preview. We'll have acceptable. And we want this to be constrained relative to the seek bar. And we'll have it be eight pixels or eight DP below the seek bar. And we want it now to be centered within this element, within the seek bar. So to do that, I'm going to go into the text tab and we'll start typing app constraint start is equal to the start of the seek bar. And then the end is equal to the end of the seek bar. And now we shouldn't need this absolute X position anymore, which is in tools namespace. Going back to the design tab, you can see that graphically we are seeing the constraints uh, that we expect. So to the right and left and then right below the seek bar. One more thing I'll do is just do some rearranging because I want all of the views to be kind of logically arranged, even though it doesn't really matter. But for the for our purposes as a developer, it's easy to logically group these together. So the TV tip description should be right below the seek bar. And then this TV footer, I consider that kind of another group of elements. I'm going to say footer views. So just as a reminder, we have the footer view, which is only this one text view. And then we have all the views on the right side of the screen, which is five elements now. And then all the views on the left side, which are four elements. So if, if we run the app now, we shouldn't expect anything too dramatic, except that we should now see this text, this a little bit of additional space, which is a text view underneath the seek bar. And we haven't populated it yet um, because we haven't added any logic in main activity. So now let's go into main activity. And whenever we change the progress, we would like to then update TV tip description to have this other, potentially other string. So let's add another method here. I'll call it update tip description. And we'll pass in the progress. And this method doesn't exist yet, but Android Studio will create it for us. I'll define it in main activity. And then the parameter is going to be the tip percent. And so based on the tip percent, we want to correlate that with a string describing how good of a tip that was. In order to encode this, we'll use something called a when construct in Kotlin. So when the tip percent matches a certain condition, we will assign a value to this variable, which I'll define right above, which is called tip description. And this is going to be a string. When the tip percent is between zero and nine, then the tip description should be poor. And when it's between 10 and 14, the tip description is acceptable.
So the idea here is that based on what bucket the tip percent is in, we will assign the appropriate label for the tip description. And so once we have assigned the correct value for the tip description, we then want to update that TV tip description, that text view, to be this tip description. So let's try that now. So as I scrub, you can see that this does change change value. Two more things that I'd like to do. First, you, would, you might have noticed that the description of the tip was empty when the app first boots up. And that's the same problem as what we had tackled earlier, which is that we're not actually setting anything initially. And we're waiting for the user to actually change the seek bar. So instead of doing that, let's call update tip description right here with the initial tip percentage. And the second thing I want to fix is in the layout, I want to change the font type of this to be bold, just to make it stand out a bit more. Let's run this one more time. And now we should see a value immediately. And we do, and it's, it's bold, which is good. The last step is the cool part. We want to animate the color of this text view according to how good or bad of a tip this was. The key to understanding how the text color animation will work is through interpolation, which is really a fancy term for something which is pretty simple. If I have an imaginary map and I'm walking from position zero in this map to position 1000, and I tell you I'm 75% done, then you would probably tell me that I should be around position 750. And what you're doing there in your head is interpolation. So you're assuming that I'm walking at a constant pace, so linear interpolation, and that would put me at roughly seven, position 750, given that I'm 75% of the way done. That's exactly what's happening here. Every color can actually be represented as a number, as an integer. You can think of a color as a RGB, red, green, blue component, and each of those is an integer between zero and 255. And so then our job is simply to pick the extreme colors. So we'll pick one color for the very worst tip and one color for the very best tip. And if, as a user, I enter in a tip which is 75% of the way there, which is 75% of the very best tip, then I'd expect the color to be 75% of the way between the worst and the best color. And that's easy to do because it's simply doing some computation on these integer colors. And in fact, Android makes this even easier for us because they provide something called an ARGB evaluator. So A refers to alpha, and then RGB referred to red, green, blue. And so this can evaluate, given two integer values, it'll do some interpolation for the ARGB colors. And that's exactly what we'll use to do the animation. So going into the code, this is going to be part of the update tip description method. So anytime the tip percent changes, we also want to update the color. The way we can do this is by constructing a new ARGB evaluator and then calling the evaluate function on this. This takes in three parameters, one, which is a fraction, which represents where are we on that spectrum of very worst to best color. And then we actually have to provide the best and worst color, which is start value, the worst, and end value is the best. The fraction is given the tip that the user has input, how good or bad is it? So for example, if I gave a tip of 15%, the best tip is 30, and so that's 50%, right in the middle. If I gave a tip of 25, then the percentage, the the fraction that we should input here is 25 divided by 30. And so in order to do this, we're going to say tip percent divided by the maximum value of, of the seek bar, which is 30. So we'll say seek bar tip dot max. And then this actually needs to be a, a float. And so in order to make it a float, we need to cast one of the in numerator or denominator into a float. So I'll say to float. And now the next two parameters are the start value and end value. And here we actually need to define the colors. To do that, let's go back into the colors of XML and define color worst tip and color best tip. So you can pick whatever value, value you like for this. I picked a red color for the worst and a green color for the best. So intuitively in my head, red means something went wrong, something's dangerous. And so you want to indicate that the service you got at this meal was really bad. It's like something red. On the other hand, green emotes something very calming, very good. Green light means go. I'm just going to copy in the values that I had come up with. So going back to the main activity, the way we'll actually get the value for the color is using something called context compat dot get color. And we'll pass in the context, which is this. This is referring to the main activity. And then we pass in the resource ID. So r.color.context. 
color worst tip. And then again, we want to do the same thing for the best tip. Get color and then this and r dot color. The result of the evaluation is it'll give back the object, which is interpolated between these two values according to the fraction. We need to cast this as an integer because that's what the color should be. Um, and now we can say val color is the result of the ARGB evaluator. Finally, last step is we want to update the text color of the TV tip description to be this color. So we'll say set text color and we pass in color. Let's try it out. So here's the preview. You can see that we have matched up the design already. And now the color of the description has also changed. So if we move this down, you see it becomes red. And then as I move it up, it gradually becomes more and more green until amazing. And that hits the greenest color that we have put into the system. And I do have to say, feels pretty amazing to have done that in a few lines of code. If you've gotten this far, congratulations. You've built out a very full-featured internet app. And if this was your first internet application, definitely drop a comment, let me know, and extra congratulations to you. One of the nice things about the Tip Calculator app is that there are so many ways to extend the basic project that we just built. A few of the ideas I had were split the bill by n people. So for example, you could input four and then you could divide the total amount by four, so you know how much each person has to pay. Another idea is to round the final amount up or down, so you don't have some odd number of cents in the total. And finally, you could show currency symbols. So in the US, we use dollars, in the UK, they use pounds, and in India, you use rupees. And so be able to allow the user to input the country that they're in and show the proper currency symbol. Just as a high level review, we spent most of our time looking at mainactivity.kotlin, which is where we had all the business logic wiring up listening to changes in the edit text or the seek bar. And we also spent a lot of time in the activity main.xml to create our views. That's all I had for now. I hope you had as much fun building this app as I had showing you how to build it. If you have any questions, I'd love to help as much as possible. Drop me a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>